A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising, and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them, until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord We celebrate today the Epiphany of the Lord. At Christmas, we have celebrated the glory of God that appeared at the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And today, we celebrate the manifestation of God's salvation in Christ for all peoples. Jesus has already been born. Our task is to find Him. This is the journey we are to take on. Where is the newborn king of the Jews? The Magi asked. And they set out searching. Searching is the disposition of a believer. In fact, our faith journey always begins with searching. That sense of restlessness that pushes us to go. What are we out searching for in our lives? Honor? Power? Money? Titles? Comfort? And what motivates and sustains us in our searching? The Magi were sure the king was born. They felt it. And so they devoted themselves in finding him. The interesting truth is that anyone who seeks God, seeks Him because He feels Him. And so one invitation for us today is to look within, to listen to and notice the stirrings in our hearts that draw us to a certain direction in life. A searching that does not settle with what meets the eye but always looks beyond and deeper. The Magi did not just wait for answers. They walked, went to Jerusalem, and inquired. They kept looking. In our faith journey too, we are to keep searching to find God in whatever ways He manifests Himself. 
And yes, the Magi were also led by a star, which made them understand that they had to go and look elsewhere, to go beyond what they have found, beyond their knowledge, beyond the East where they were, beyond Jerusalem, beyond Herod, and continue the search. This is the other invitation for us, to look without, to look around. Much like the journey of the Magi, our faith journey is not always easy and problem-free because the star can disappear from our sight during the journey because it does not function like some trusty celestial ways that guides us every step of the way. But the Magi had to keep the trust and continue the search. And after their audience with Herod, they were overjoyed to see the star reappear, which finally led them to the Holy Child, despite the looming danger of Herod's wrath. The star is to move us to live our comfort zones and not just go anywhere we want. Otherwise, we won't find God. Jesus has already been born. Our task is to find him. What leads you in your journey towards finding Christ? Has it happened to that the star dimmed or disappeared into hiding? Let us learn from the Magi to continue searching even in the dark and trust the significant nudges within us, God's presence within us allowing the Spirit to guide us in our search for the face of God, however that may be. It might mean losing our way is an essential part of the journey, but to be lost is a place too where we can find and meet God. So look within and without, yes, but more importantly, be certain that God is also searching and is determined to find out, to find us, no matter what it costs, to meet us where we are, wherever we may have strayed in our journey, to give us light. We need only to remain relentless in our star chasing, in our searching for the face of God, even if all we bear is a meager but eager heart to adore him.